what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i want to talk about something that came up this morning on uh, 1260 tsn radio uh you know the montreal canadians radio station where darren drager was you know talking about the montreal canadians and then they shifted focus to talk about the winnipeg jets and the whole pierre luc dubois situation that's been going on for nearly a year now and um i j i want to talk about this because i feel like a lot of people read too much into it instead of reading between the lines here i think it was pretty obvious what drager was trying to point out um but i i saw a lot of confusion online and i'm going to talk about it right now so obviously we know the jets are you know in a pickle right now they have not been playing very well they have not been getting the best from their you know best players and of course the whole pierre luc dubois saga from last season where his agent you know pretty much publicly was trying to get him out of winnipeg was trying to get him to montreal and uh you know that was a whole situation dubois you know obviously denying that and in his interviews just kind of dodging questions about it and it just came off pretty shady and it's it's pretty much you know confirmed that at some point he will not be a winnipeg jet anymore will he be traded to the montreal canadians this offseason who knows uh will he be traded to another team i think that could happen as well and we're going to talk about that in just a second but there was a lot of hoopla over what Dreger said and you know Darren Dreger went on the radio and he said that the Winnipeg Jets are going to do everything in their power to try to re-sign Pierre-Luc Dubois. Okay, I don't expect anything less. Of course they're going to try. I don't know why everyone was so like taken aback by that. Of course they're going to try to re-sign Pierre-Luc Dubois. That's the guy you traded Patrick Liney for. That's the guy you like bundled up and you know sent your second overall pick Jack Rossovic away for for Pierre-Luc Dubois. That's a guy that the organization believed in, but still believes in clearly if they want to re-sign him. And that's a guy that they envisioned would be on their team for quite a while, right? Like this was obviously a move that was made for the for now and the future. This wasn't just a, ah, well, this is the best value we're going to get for line, eh? No, like th this was a plan. Right, right from the beginning, uh, Kevin Chevaldeoff had that plan, right? He had Mark Shifley and Pierre-Luc Dubois as the one and two Cs, the, you know, 1A, 1B. Uh, and, you know, it worked kind of for a little while, but, you know, maybe it's not the best situation anymore. But of course, the Winnipeg Jets are going to want to re-sign their 24-year-old middle of his prime center. Of course, they're going to want to do that. Is Pierre-Luc Dubois going to want to do that? I don't think so. I really don't. I, I haven't gotten the vibes that he wants to, you know, there was a team dinner and then Pierre-Luc Dubois is out at a Lakers game in LA. Not with the team, not, not a team dinner. Um, you know, just little things like that. I don't know. Uh, someone pointed out on Twitter that him and Mark Shifley don't follow each other on Instagram, which I thought was kind of funny. And I don't think that you should read into that too, too much because who knows, but that is a thing that, you know, you spend 10 months of your lives a year with your teammates and you don't follow them on Instagram. That's, it's kind of weird, right? But at the end of the day, that doesn't matter so much. I'm, I'm so just over this whole situation with Dubois. And I, I don't hate the guy. I mean, hey, like if you're a French Canadian guy, if you want to go play in Montreal, absolutely go play in Montreal. Like go follow your dreams. I'm sure he's grown up wanting to be the Montreal Canadian centerman. And hey, who am I to say no, right? Like if I was, if I wanted to play hockey when I was younger and I grew up wanting to be a Winnipeg Jet, um, you know, the Jets weren't around when I was little, but uh, hey, say if that was a thing that I had circled and I, that was my thing that I wanted to be, I don't think that it'd be fair for somebody to criticize me and say, hey, you can't go and do that because I don't like your decision, right? Because I don't agree with it because it doesn't benefit my team. If Pierre wants to go, hey man, go ahead. But if the Jets are going to let him go, they have to get a return for him. And I don't think they want to get rid of Pierre, as we've talked about already. But that does seem like the situation that's at hand right now. Of course, they're going to want him back. He's a great player. When he's on, he's one of the best in the league. He's a bull in a china shop, man. He is good. He is mean and he can score. He can do it all when he applies himself. And I just don't see a world where he is a Winnipeg Jet for at the very longest end of next season. If somehow they get him on the RFA tender and then just, you know, keep him around, which I think would be silly at this point. Um... Yeah, I don't know. But all this to say, I don't think Pierre-Luc Dubois will be a Winnipeg Jet. It, it doesn't matter what they do. I can't imagine him changing his mind at this point. Like, he just seems so, you know, hard-strung on getting out of here, going to Montreal. And even if it's not Montreal next season, if even if the Jets do trade him to a different team, because you gotta imagine that even as a rental, like, let's say for a year, like, if, if the Boston Bruins or a team like that 
were to make a move for Pierre-Luc Dubois, I'm sure that those type of teams would be interested. Maybe the Rangers want to add, you know, another piece uh, for their next run next season, they want to add a rental, and that they think they can convince him to sign. Maybe they'll take a flyer, maybe they'll give up a package for him. But if the Canadians want him, they're going to have to pay a premium, or they're going to have to wait till unrestricted free agency for Dubois at the end of the 2023-2024 season and they will have to give up a premium to acquire him and I really don't think it's going to be like anything small I don't think it's going to be like a second round pick and Christian Dvorak I think it's probably going to be a first round pick a prospect and probably a player going back to alleviate some cap for Montreal but at the end of the day none of these are situations where he's a jet and I just don't see it. Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, maybe something, will, you know, crazy will happen behind the scenes. Maybe they, you know, give him the C, tell him he's in charge and he can kind of pick who he wants. But I really don't see the organization doing that, especially when you have Josh Morrissey, who I would be absolutely blown away with if he doesn't have the C next season. I would be totally shocked if the organization does not give him the captaincy. And especially with Pierre-Luc Dubois, like, come on now. I, I just think that it's unrealistic to think that he's going to be a Jet next season. I think it's unrealistic to think that he's going to change his mind. Dreger was saying that, you know, they're going to do everything they can. And I'm sure they will, but I, I just don't think he's coming back. That's that's just the situation. Their writing's on the wall at this point. I do not believe that Pierre-Luc Dubois will be a Winnipeg Jet come next season. I think that he will be moved. And if he gets moved, Drager was talking and he said, like, if they do decide to move Shifley, because it does seem like his time could be up here, if they do decide to move Dubois, there's your one and two centermen gone. And then is Connor Hellebuck going to want to stick around? That's what, you know, Drager was talking about. Is Connor Hellebuck going to want to stick around and be the goaltender of a team that's probably not going to be that great? Probably not. So do the Jets move him too? Do they move Blake Wheeler? Uh, or like I don't know can you move Blake Wheeler probably not you probably have to buy him out if you're not planning on having him back next season so there could be catastrophic change and I know a lot of my videos lately have been talking about this but it is just such a big topic right now it seems like every day something else is coming up and I just want to talk about it because it's just fascinating to me at this point with uh, you know Dubois and that whole situation I've never seen a situation like this uh, let alone on the Jets but uh, yeah that's kind of just where my head's at with it I, I was kind of blown away by the, uh, I don't know, just the misinterpretation on the internet. I don't think that Drager was trying to say that, you know, the Jets are totally going to give him the keys to the city, but I think he was trying to say that they're going to really, you know, do their due diligence and try to have him signed because, of course, they like the player. But if it doesn't work out, at the end of the day, it doesn't work out. You have to move on. So that's just kind of where I sit with things. I'd love to hear what, you know, you guys think about it in the comments. This situation's been going on for a year now. I know a lot of people have very strong opinions. So if you want to drop them down there, love to hear them. But yeah, guys, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Go Jets, go. Bye-bye.